Oh. Okay, hello, welcome to CGTN live streaming here in Shishi city of Quanzhou in Fujian province. I'm Wu Lei, and we are exploring a brand new maritime Silk Road Museum here in Shishi city of Quanzhou because we know Quanzhou was a starting point of the Asian maritime Silk Road. And over the next 30 minutes, we are going to explore this museum. And if you have any question, please leave us a, mo a comment, a question. We are live streaming in CGT app and uh, also in our Weibo, YouTube, and uh, Twitter. So if you have any question about the Maritime Sec Road, please leave us a moment. And uh, today I'm very glad to be joined by Mr. Li Zhongmo, the director of this uh, Shimao Maritime Sec Road Museum. Hello, Mr. Li. Thank you Hello. very much for you're joining us. You're, you're welcome. And, yeah. uh, uh, could you please tell us a little bit more about this uh, new Maritime Silk Road? How big it is and how long have you been uh, constructing this museum? Okay, and this museum is uh, actually it's a, it's a large museum. Mm -hmm. It has one, uh, 10, 000, about over 10,000 square meters. Over 10,000 square meters? Yes, and we have uh, uh, several galleries. So totally it's about 9,000 square meters. Wow. Yeah, and this museum we take uh, about two years, over two years. Two years. You have spent over two years to build right. this uh, museum. Right, right. Okay, let's uh, yeah. walk a little bit. So today, as a director of this new museum, what, what are your recommendations? Could you please give us some highlights, some uh, famous relics in this museum? No problem. I would like to recommend some uh, pieces about mm -hmm. our collection, okay. from our collections, and to uh, mainly three galleries. For example, the one is uh, Maritime Silk Road, Yes, uh, of yeah. course we know this uh, is a major highlight right. uh, because the name of your museum is yes. Maritime Silk Road. Yes. And we know the Maritime Silk Road was flourished during the 2nd BC to mm -hmm. 15th BC. Yeah. And it was a legendary oceanic route between China and the foreign countries. Yeah. So what are some of the highlighted uh, relics here? And, and we have... Uh, Many in this gallery, we have uh, several hundred pieces, uh, including different materials. For, mm -hmm. for example, the porcelain, export porcelain, and some porcelain wares unearthed from uh, along the Maritime Silk Road, uh, Mar Maritime Silk Road. Mm -hmm. and uh, some uh, copperware uh, that exported to the Europe, Europe mm -hmm. and some uh, silk, uh, especially in 18th and 19th century, and uh, uh, other paintings. Uh, of the Qing Dynasty exported to the Europe. Well, let's, uh, uh, we are now in the uh, Maritime Silk Road Pavilion. Yeah. And this uh, gallery, in this gallery, we can see it's like a, it's like a boat, right? Right, right, right. Because the Maritime Silk Road, new, Silk Road exhibition, you have, you have to explain what kind of sub ships mm -hmm. along the Maritime Silk Road. So these are the ship's model for, uh, to explain this uh, legendary oceanic road. Yes, and here there are five ships model, ship mm. models. Uh, they are all made in China? Chinese no, model? No, no, no. Just four of them made in China, were made in China. Mm. But one uh, of the five uh, is made in uh, not China. That's actually, that's Persian. That's Persian? It. Yes. Wow, this one is, uh, this ship is made in Persian, was right, made in China. Right, right. Uh, at that time, that's a Tang Dynasty. It's the ninth century, mm. early ninth century, oh. ninth century, and this one is very famous. Uh, in 1998, it was unearthed. It was discovered uh, in 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 a near, nearby uh, uh, in Indonesia. Indonesia. Indonesia, right? Oh. It was called Batu Hitam shipwreck. The name is Batu Hitam. Very very famous because this one, this ship, is the first evidence of. Maritime Silk Road along between, between China, China and, and Western and Western, Western world, right? Wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, inside this model, this model of the shapes, we mm -hmm. have uh, several pieces uh, discovered in this ship, in this Some ship track. Some porcelain. Some porcelain. Tea sets. Right. And we have uh, actually we have uh, four boats from this ship track. Four boats. Four boats. That's uh, mm -hmm. it was made in Tang Dynasty, uh, Changsha. Kin, Kilin, mm -hmm. in Hunan province. You can see 
There are these, four boats. These were the original ones or the copies? Original. Original ones? Original. Ah. Discovered from there. And uh, uh, some collectors uh, bought it from Indonesia, from, from uh, in Singapore, outside of China, mm. and they bring back to China and donate it to... So Canada. these relics witnessed the flourishing trade between China and uh, other countries? Yeah. And here Look is the also colors. I think wear. the colors yeah. are very vivid and uh, it's very beautiful. Right, right. You can, you can imagine, you cannot imagine, these pieces was kept in the sea, under the sea, over 1,300 years. Wow, very long the, history. The, the, the color and the glaze is still very shiny and very good. And also, we know that this museum has also used some multimedia elements to yeah. attract a younger, uh, younger audience. You want to um, let the audience fully explore this uh, museum. Yes, yes. Actually, here it, is it just for, for the kids. For kids uh -huh. can uh, play the games. Okay. And can we have a try? Yes, yes. It's, uh, uh, here just here start. begin, start. Yes. And from the box, mm -hmm. and here, Four kind of tooth. Uh, the tooth is we need to choose that. Yes, it was used by the archaeologist. Ah. The first one is uh, 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 is, uh, is uh, kind of how machine? to say? Yes, yes, that's right. It was used by the archaeologi archaeologist to mm. to get things from the uh, under the so earth. As a new museum, you are trying to use more digital tools to explain this kind of relics. Yes. The knowledge to promote this kind of knowledge to audiences. Right, right. Oh. This, this is our, because you know, uh, the original pieces are just uh, displayed inside the case, mm -hmm. and people can see, but oh. they cannot touch, oh. and they cannot, there's no interactive, uh, interactive uh, uh, exhibition. But kids can try the, this kind of the games. They, mm -hmm. can, they can learn from this kind of the interactive multimedia. They can, they can, they can get a lot of information and uh, behind the pieces. Right? Mm, this is like, looks like uh, Earth. Yes, yes. It should. It actually it shows a map. It oh. shows a map, and you can see there are some red red dots. Mm -hmm. If you use your hands to this kind of, uh, can see it uh, two Touch twice. It. Yes. And oh, in the, the screen, in the screen. It will show the history of this place. Yes, yes. The Text. Yeah, Chenzhou was a starting point yeah. of Asian Maritime Silk Road. Right. right. And it was also a very famous port at that time. Mm -hmm. A very large port, seaport, connecting in, the east and west. Yes, that's in Song and Yuan dynasties. Song and Yuan dynasties. Yeah. Uh, at that time, the Chenzhou is the biggest port. The biggest port. Biggest port in China. In China. Yeah. Uh, but after the Ming dynasty, mm -hmm. uh, this, that's a different. That that was different. Yeah. The biggest part port and changed to Guangzhou. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so here, what are other recommendations in this gallery? Okay. And here we have some silk. Silk made in 18th and 19th century. Uh, silk was also one of the major products in the Asian Maritime Silk Road. Yes. Uh, the silk, Chinese silk are very famous for the, uh, foreign countries at that time. You know, we say the Silk Road. Silk the silk road, is the silk. A most important. Yes, most yeah. important mo uh, product. Right. Here we have uh, some just uh, mm. uh, some. Uh, not a whole class. Mm. It, it's just a part, a section of the class. But you can see the, the sixteenth century. Right, the sixteenth century. It, this was the Ming Dynasty. Uh. But you can see the design is very, very beautiful. Mm. Uh, had a lot of kids, the children, mm. and they playing the lotus. Uh. In China, this is a very auspicious meaning. Yes, uh, lotus is a very symbolic meaning in Chinese culture. Right. And right. children playing lotus means auspicious, yeah. means good luck. Yeah. You can see five, 500 years passed, but the color still kept very, yeah, very good. Yeah, this is a 500-year history. Mm -hmm. And here we also have uh, some special things. Mm. We have an uh, export painting. Our uh, exported painting. Painting during the 19th century. This is the original ones? Original, original. But oh. we have, uh, for this Who album, this? Who made this? the Chinese. 
The Chinese people, Chinese, Chinese painters. People and painters and Chinese painters painted and then export to Europe. Wow, well, look and at the colors. They are very beautiful, right. very shining, right. even after 500 years? No, no, no. This is 18th century. Uh, 18th century. Uh, 19th century. 19th century. Just, uh, 200 years. Uh, 200 ago. 200 years. Yeah. But we can still see the colors and uh, the lifestyle of yeah. that time yeah. during the 19th but century. More important is it's about its contents. Its contents. Yeah, it shows the whole process about the silk production. Wow, these four paintings show the whole process of how to make uh, silk. Silk, right. And we just choose four from this whole album. Mm -hmm. Because the whole album has up 12. And we just choose four. And oh. maybe after three, after three or half a year, we change to other leaves. Okay. And here we still have uh, uh, special things you cannot see in mm. any other Chinese mu museums in China. For example, this one. It's also silk? Yes, it's a silk. It was made in China, but it was used for the Europe, for European. How old is it? Uh, the 19th century. 19th century? Yeah, 200 years ago. Which country? Uh, this which one country? should be, should, should be uh, United States. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, UK. UK? Yeah, should be UK. It was, we bought it from UK. It was exported to UK at that yeah. time? Yes. Ah. Yeah. That was I think made. It must be a very royal or some very rich yes, people. Uh, re upper religion, class, religion. upper class people. Yeah, it was uh, for, for monarch, uh, monarch, how to say? Shen Fu. Yeah. Shen Fu. Uh, yeah. No, no, not monarch, it's uh, religion for, for religion purpose. Shen Fu is prayer, how to say it's uh, Shen Fu. Uh, here, has a, uh, has a text. Yeah. Has a text. Cathedral priest, yes. It, this cloth, this, this one is made for the for a cathedral priest. Mm. So it's very silk special. has a lot of uh, functions, a lot of different different purposes. Yes, and here I show you some. Uh, oh, this things. is a very beautiful uh, yeah, porcelain, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. China, made in China and export to Europe. Mm. And this one also. A I think most of the porcelain were made for tea sets. Yeah. A tea set and, and, and also other uh, pieces or only for decoration. Only for decoration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for, for example, uh, wow. no, this, this is, is a very big one. Like, very big one. Mm. It, it was made for... In Jindezhen. Right. Jindezhen was a very famous place to make this kind of uh, porcelain in China. Yes, yes. And these pieces is a food pieces, a food vessel. Uh, for, 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 for containing for food? Soup. It's for a soup. It's a soup, soup bowl. Wow, very it's a very bowl. big one. Made for Portuguese. Portuguese? Especially Portuguese palace. Ah, it's the royal? Yes. Royal porcelain? Yes. Ah. This one's very, very beautiful. How did you get it? <laughs> mm, this one is, uh, because you know, at that time, China made a lot of porcelain uh -huh. and export to Europe. And uh, sometimes uh -huh. the European just uh, made commission from China. Uh -huh. This one is uh, originally, uh, it, it absolutely, that's a Portuguese prototype, mm. but they just gave a drawing or, or a painting to China, to Chinese worker and in Jingdezhen. And the Jingdezhen workers, the potters, they made this one according to their plans, according to the drawings, mm. and then export to Europe. Mm. Yeah. Imagine that at that time, the skill of these workers are very high. Yes. They're very talented and they, they can make this kind of porcelain just according to the painting. Yeah. And here you can see there are some European people, mm. a gentleman inside the saucer. Okay. Mm. Uh, here is just to show a whole process uh, of the tea production. The tea, whole uh, process no, tea of tea drinking. Tea drinking. Yeah, tea drinking. The from mm. the beginning and to uh, from the, the beginning and to the last last stage. For mm. example. How uh, to make tea, right? Yes. The whole process of making right, tea. Right, right. And you have the tea leaf and mm. you put it inside and then you uh, make it a small things. Mm. Yeah. Fried. This, fried, right. This uh, Yeah, it's a, there's a wheel and boat mm. of uh, groove. Mm. Mm. And here's the several... Uh, After a complicated several process, pieces, you right. make the tea right. and, and use different tools to drink tea. There's for hot water. And this is a teapot. Look at this. The tea cups. Uh, this possibly oh. very beautiful. Yes. Here we just made a restoration, uh, but 
not uh, not originally not uh, yeah, not original uh, not original this uh, one this is the cup copies the replicas yes replicas now replicas now we uh, we, we bought it from Jing uh, and then but we we just use the you know you know this one uh, originally it was kept in uh, Portuguese palace. That's a Santos palace. Oh. There's a very, very famous uh, palace. And it's, it's, is they are still there? Yes, still right there. Now. Still there. In Portugal. Now that palace was uh, belonged to the French, because it's a French, uh, a French. I say that's a French an ambassador. Oh. Yeah, embassy from embassy in Portuguese. Oh, yeah. Look at this person, Very beautiful. The different colors, combination of different style between east and west. Yes, yes. And that's a copperware. This mm. is porcelain. That's mm. a copper. That's copper, but uh, with uh, overglazed enamel. Mm. Okay, we know uh, this museum uh, officially opened to the public from today, mm -hmm. but today actually is a working day, so we, we don't have too many mm -hmm. uh, travelers or people here. You know, here is, a, you know, the maritime seaport is mm. not uh, one direction. Mm. It actually, it, it, it should have two direct directions. Exchange. Yes. Yeah. This, in this case, you can see Japan. many pieces made in Japan. They oh. imitate, uh, sometimes, some things, they imitate Chinese porcelain. For, for so example, this all one. All these uh, porcelains were from Japan? Yes, made they in Japan. They were made in Japan. They were made in Japan. And but this they're one, exported to China. Right, right. This made imitate Chinese porcelain, mm. but this one has a Japan's own Japanese own characteristics. Oh. They 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 like this kind of the design, and uh, you can say you can see this one is very typical Imali uh, ware. Mm. For example, this one it was made in Japan Imali ware, but it was made for European for for the mustache you can. Uh, you know, mm. for gentlemen, it's used Bubble, for the gentlemen. Bubbles, bowls, right, flowers, right. right. over glazed patterns. Yes. Oh, that's very interesting. Very beautiful. Mm. Very shining color. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now let's to another uh, gallery. We go to the second. We go to the second gallery. Okay. Upstairs or upstairs? Upstairs. So Maritime Silk Road, uh, this gallery is a major highlight for your museum. Mm -hmm. And uh, yesterday, actually, I saw a lot of uh, museum directors also coming mm -hmm. to this place. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to work with them more in the future? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, more uh, pieces displayed here. Mm -hmm. And uh, not only our own collection, but also we learned from other museums. Oh. And so for example, this is a very big museum. Yes. If I am a traveler and coming here, how long should I spend here to finish all these uh, galleries? Uh, this uh, is up to your time. Up to your time. For example, if you have uh, one hour, you can see, you can you can see many just uh, a few pieces. But if you would like to 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 visit all the galleries carefully, you have to spend four or five hours. At least four and five hours to finish uh, the exploring galleries. the whole galleries. Yes. Uh, this is the history of this uh, Asian Maritime Silk Road. Right, right. This is just to show, you know, the very famous Chinese monk, Zhen Zhen. Mm. And uh, during the Tang Dynasty, the Zhen Zhen uh, go to, went to Japan. Mm. So he, he tried to uh, cross the sea for seven, six times. Last time, he success, succeed. He went to Japan. Yes, and, and for six spread, times. Yes, six times. He, oh. he spread the Buddhism to Japan. Oh. And so here. Silk, maritime Silk Road was not only trade, but also a cultural exchanges, yeah. Buddhism exchanges. Yeah. Uh, actually, it was a uh, uh, you know economy, trade, culture, uh, mm. religions, many many aspect of. Uh, Exchange. Yeah, that's yeah. why today we need a 21st century maritime yeah. silk road. Yes. We need to strengthen this kind of, follow the history and uh, strengthen this kind of uh, cooperation and exchanges. Mm -hmm. Here we go to uh, this part, and you can see a lot of screens here, mm -hmm. and uh, there's uh, many interactive uh, games. Yeah, multimedia elements to yes. improve the 
interaction. Some uh, 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 films or videos to, exp yeah. to explain the history yeah. of uh, especially the Chuanzhou. Well, what, what's this uh, relic? This seems very uh, big. Yes, this one is a screen. It has a 12 panel of the screen. It shows it, uh, this, this screen was very, very famous and very important. It was made in Kangxi period of the Qing Dynasty. Qing Dynasty. Actually, it, that's uh, 1699 AD, AD 1699. But this one show, has a very important historical value. You mm. can see a large painting on the screen. And especially here, What's many. This? What, what oh, it that's mean? a building and a mountain and a sea. It mm. shows Taiwan Island. Ah, uh, Taiwan Island. Yeah. This is a picture of Taiwan Island. Right. Uh -huh. And it shows the street, the street and many, 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 many boats and mm. with the names of the island, a lot of. In Qing Dynasty. It, yes, that's in Kanxi, early Qing Dynasty. Uh -huh. But behind the screen, you can see a lot of. Uh, this is the text. most important relic, one of the most important relics in your museum, right? Yes, yes. This is a very, very important one. Uh, this is a history of a long this, uh, test. A long test. It shows it, it, it was offered to a gentleman, a, an official of the Qing Dynasty, because at that time, uh, this gentleman has a 60th anniversary. Oh. Yeah. Explain the history of this uh, place. Yeah. This painting, this one is uh, many scholars write the, the essays or articles about, about this one. Mm, study that uh, very much. Yes, yes. Here we can see the, the second, the last part mm. of the Maritime Silk Road exhibition. But we can go just uh, quickly. Okay. <laughs> uh, we go to the Ming Imperial Porcelain and loaned from the Palace Museum. Okay. So we know this, uh, this time, Palace Museum also worked with uh, your Maritime Silk Road Museum. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday I talked with the director uh, of the Palace Museum, and he said uh, Palace Museum actually strongly support this kind of private museums. Mm -hmm. uh, because they want to have more cooperation with private museums. Yes. As a national museum, they have the expertise and experience, yeah. so they can help these kind of private museums to better develop. Mm -hmm. And so this time, they have uh, over 300 relics yeah. and uh, coming to oh, this careful. place. Yeah. And uh, you know, this, this time is very important cooperation between. We need to take oh, that go room. downstairs. Okay. We have to go downstairs to go to the, the Imperial Porcelain Gallery. We're now in the elevator, and uh, if so, this is a very big museum. Yeah. And you know, th this cooperation between Paris Museum and the Shimao Museum is very important. Mm -hmm. It, it uh, actually it was the first. Uh, important uh, the first first time first between the national museum and the private museum. It's the first in, time. Yeah, in this way, oh. in this way, and you know the Palace Museum borrowed two exhibitions here. This this is a very very rare. Oh. Yeah. And we still this we place? hope yes, yeah. Oh, so this gallery uh, features some. Relics from the Palace Museum, mm -hmm. one of the iconic landmarks in China. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Palace Museum borrowed 120 pieces to the, to the Shimao Museum. Mm -hmm. And it shows a whole history about in, imperial porcelain made in the Ming Dynasties, especially made in Jing Dezhen mm -hmm. and uh, during the Ming Dynasties. And, uh, uh, the first one, we, be, we start from the Hong Wu Ring okay. and uh, ended this exhibition in the Wani Ring. Okay. Here I can show you one, the, the important Hong Wu porcelain. Okay, so our camera, we can come here to look at this uh, very beautiful porcelain here. Yeah, ah, this one was made in Yongle Ring. In uh, Ming Dynasty. Yeah, Ming Dynasty. It, was, uh, it, it, is, an, it's, it is a blue and white hmm. uh, mapping vase. Uh, it has a it has a very good lead. You know, mm. this kind of pieces, originally, it was made for 
the for for the container of the wine. Mm. But during the Ming Dynasty, so storing wine. Yeah, but that's in a in a this kind of the shape was mm. made in uh, for the container of the wine. But during the Ming Dynasty, it was different use. Oh. It was just for decoration, decoration. just for display, oh. for display. But the most important is you can see the blue, the cobalt blue, very strong, mm. and some pieces uh, you can see some dots on the screen, on on the body. But this one, this kind kind of a cobalt blue. Uh, was made from that's not from China that's from Persian area. So the designs, part of the design yeah, was des from Persian area. No, no, no. The cobalt blue, the cobalt blue, blue the, this pigment oh. from the Persian area. But mm. the design is traditional Chinese. China. Yeah, China. So it it was a mixture between China and Western world, mm. especially so the West kind Asia. Of vast, the porcelain represents the mixtures, exchanges between China and the Western countries at that time. Yes, and also in the Yongle reign, the blue and white porcelain is very, very important. Yeah, very popular very among Chinese society. Yeah, very rare. You okay. can, it, and it has a very high value. High value. Very high value. We do not see this yeah. kind of... Do you see oh, this one? This one? Yeah. That one still, that's... Uh, Blue and, Blue and white. Blue and white. That's the Xuan, the made in Xuan the rain of the Blue Ming and dynasty. white, globular shaped vase. That's right. With it, dragons. Yes. Because we know dragons are some iconic meaning for the royal families. Yeah. So the, this is a royal relics. Uh, right. This is. A, uh, it was in the collection of the palace museum. It oh. belonged to the Qing, pal oh. Qing palace. Yes. And yes. Qing palace. Most of these, uh, yes. these uh, relics are from the palace museum. And you right can see here in this gallery. Yes. Yes. For the dragons, and uh, generally, we judge it was uh, made for the imperial palace, mm. imperial royal family, mm. or ordinary people. Mm. You just uh, you can see the class of the dragons. Mm. It has uh, uh, this has a three class. Had three cloths, not five, but five cloths was made for the royal family. Mm. But three cloths during the between, before the Ming Dynasty, the early Ming Dynasty, that's different kinds of situation, and compared with the Qing Dynasty. Oh, so it's this, very this beautiful. Kind of the three cloths dragon is still uh, this kind of vase is still made for the royal family. Mm. High quality. They were used uh, for decoration, right? Yeah. Oh. And I can show you. One of the pieces of mm. the copper red glaze, very shiny, very beautiful. Copper red, copper red glazed dish. Yes, but the copper red is very hard to fire, to make, mm. to to pr produce. Why? Because the technology. The technology. Technology. It is it, the color. The firing atoms of fear. Very hard for the workers to control the firing atoms of fear. The, the temperature, right? Yes. Yes. At the high temperature, but sometimes the copper red has, for example, you can see the Hong ring, the red color is not so good because of the technique. But in the, during the Qing, the Yongle reign, at that time, the copper red, very good color, but the Xuan de rain, not so good. You can compare these two pieces. Not that red, right? Compared not so, to this one. Yes, that one is uh, more beautiful, but this one is just so so. Now, here is the uh, Different colors. High, yes, that's a high temperature blue glaze. I can show you one piece in this gallery. That's may, maybe most important. Wow. So all these relics are from the Palace Museum. Yeah. And they will stay here for how long? How long uh, it will stay here? Nine or uh, ten months. Ten months? Yeah. And you have, have another batch of these relics? Mm, yes. From uh, the Palace Museum. So you uh, have a so we, we can change we another can change. exhibition. So you, you yeah. are, have a long agreement with the Palace Museum, yes, right? Yes, yes. But after this exhibition, we change it to another one. Oh. But we still discuss the topic of, of the late, later one. According yeah. to different topics. Right, right. But here, this one is very beautiful. It was called uh, a jar, but under the base of the jar, uh, there is a one correct Chinese character. Hmm. Tian means Tian. sky. Sky. Means sky. But you know, and up to now, and the scholars still make argument about the meaning of the sky, of, the, mm. of the, this character. Mm. But we don't know uh, exactly the meaning of this. Uh, maybe it was just made for a special use or something. But this one w was called contrasting color. In Chinese, we say dou cai. Mm. Dou cai, it means it is a 
it is a mixture between of underglazed blue and overglazed enamel. So you can see the de the design the the out the out hmm. outline of the design. Okay, our cameraman, we can have a closer look at this jar. Yeah. The outer the outline was uh, painted in underglazed blue, but inside was painted in use the overglazed enamel, for example, including the yellow, the green, the red, and other color, colors. Oh, so very uh, shining, different colors, the yes. red, the blue, the white, yeah. and the yeah. yellow. Yeah. How many colors in this relic? Actually, uh, five or uh, four At or least five. Of four, yeah, five. four or five. For example, this one, red, green, blue, yellow. And, and I think uh, more color means more difficult to produce, right? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. And uh, this one is because it will, it it's has to Ming be Dynasty fired. Ming Dynasty. It has to be fined, fired for twice. For so twice. Yes. Yeah, the first one is a high temperature, temperature. firing, oh. but the second one is low temperature firing. How long it would take for producing such kind of beautiful possible? Uh, it uh, it shows in Qing Dynasty they say they have a. Uh, in Qing Dynasty, mm. uh, they say this kind of the porcelain should should be go through s over 70, 72 70 process, stage? seventy two oh. stage A of the stage? process, different okay. different process, seventy two. So many many workers and uh, working on this one porcelain, mm. because different people may different do different work. But For example, the potters do the shape, yeah. and the the painters just uh, painting. Uh, painting. Mm. Yeah. So the firing workers just firing. Well, this is a very complicated yeah. process. Very complicated. It, 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 it was a cooperation. Ah. It was a, a whole team to do it. But do you know how long it would take to make this kind of porcelain? Uh, one or two, uh, one, one month or something. But only the firing, you, ah. you have to use uh, several days. Okay. Just the firing, several days. Firing. Yeah. So that's why the Chinese porcelain were very famous, mm. very popular, and uh, they, they are exported to many countries. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one, actually, hmm. this is a very special one. This, uh, this is a candle holder. A candle holder. A candle holder, yes. It was made in the uh, Zhengde reign of the Ming Dynasty. Mm. But the special list, uh, the specialty of this one is the, the design design on the body. You can see there are some round, some, some round mm. circle. Mm. Inside the circle, that's an Arabian or Persian oh, text. language. Language, right, right. Well, we can see that in the circle way, that's a different Persian languages yeah. right here. Do you know what does it mean? That, uh, this is uh, uh, borrowed from the Quran and, how to say, Kalanjing, mm. Kalanjing. Mm. Quran, uh, uh, they, they, they have a very, that's a f very famous, how to say, Quranji. Quran. Quran, yeah, just uh, like a Bible in, uh, in, Euro in, in, in European, mm. but in, in Muslim, for Muslim, Quranji, mm. yeah. Mm. So it's a religious yeah. meaning. Religious meaning. But the Chinglajan workers, they cannot understand the meaning. Exactly. Oh, just they just made a the, copy. The copy. They, yeah. Uh -huh. Sometimes uh, there is a mistake. Okay. Yeah. And Quran. Okay. Yeah. There's the judging main of the Oh, this is a very beautiful A lot porcelain. of beautiful porcelain. This one is also very beautiful and rare. Oh. This one. Different colors. Yeah. It has a yellow design on the green ground. Mm. Very, very, very special and rare. Maybe that only captured in the Palace Museum yeah. collection. So this gallery is the uh, Palace Museum. Yeah. Uh, most of the relics here from the Palace Museum. Mm -hmm. And they will stay here for nine or 10 months. If you yeah. have time, yeah. you can come to this uh, museum and take a closer look about these porcelains. Mm. Now we go to the Shimao Gallery. Shimao Gallery, yeah, because we know Shimao Group is a very big real estate yeah. and uh, property management uh, corporate. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, in recent years, I think 
uh, has uh, invested a lot in the cultural industry. Yeah. And that's why you built this uh, museum, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yesterday and I the, talked this with our the, first museum. The first museum. Yesterday mm. I talked with the chairman of your group, Shima mm -hmm. Group. Yeah. And Mr. Xu said uh, uh, this is a very important museum because it's built in Shishi, his hometown, and mm -hmm. he hopes more people mm -hmm. uh, can come here to mm -hmm. learn, uh, to know about history, mm -hmm. about this uh, hidden, uh, in that hidden time. Yeah. And here, as you can see, a lot of uh, porcelains uh, in this gallery. Uh, here, we just show a whole history, a general history about Chinese porcelain oh. you know, from, from the beginning and until the Qing dynasties. And uh, so this is example, the topic. The topic of this gallery is uh, yeah, porcelain. Porcelain, uh, porcelain uh, history. The history, history the, the whole porcelain. history of the porcelain. Yes, here you can see a very beautiful Longquan ware, Longquan celadon vase, but it has a uh, five tubes on top. On top, it not. What 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 are the function of the five tubes? Uh, no practical functions. No practical, just yeah. for decoration. Just for, no, 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 for decoration or for burial, uh. for the for for burial use. Okay. Yeah. But it has it, it has a very beautiful design. You can see a lot of uh, lotus panel hmm. along the body. Uh, one, two, three, five, uh, five, la five layers of a uh, lotus panel. Hmm. Very beautiful. And so this is from the Song Dynasty. Yes, this Northern Song Dynasty. The glaze we call the Celadon glaze. Ah. The, the color is very beautiful and shining and uh, just like the jade. Ah. Yeah. Okay, I can show you. Another one, that's a white glazed, white glazed vase. It's also from. That's a from Northern Song Dynasty. That Northern Song Dynasty. Liao Dynasty or yeah. Northern Song Liao Dynasty. Liao to Northern Song Dynasties, and uh, it was made in the Ding Yao, which was located in Hebei Province. In Hebei Province. Yes, that's uh, this Ding Ding Ken is one of the five famous. During the, the Song Dynasties, mm. what is the function about this? Uh, 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 not exactly, but made for decoration. For decoration. Yeah, oh. for decoration. And uh, this one has a very special uh, aspect. Mm. You can see from the text, mm. it shows there is one Chinese characters under the base. Guan means official. Mm. So official means. This vase was made for the official use. For official use. Yes, not for ordinary people. Not for the uh, private citizens. Yeah, and uh, in uh, you know in Europe, the porcelain, porcelain was made very very late, just yeah. the, the 18th century. But in China, the porcelain was 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 produced uh, from long time ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we say from the proto proto porcelain, we we can say the Chinese history of porcelain has a Three thousand years. Over three thousand years, 3, 000 history years. of making porcelain. Yes, uh, if we say uh, if we um, say the the mature porcelain, that's an, at least two thousand years. Mm. Yeah. Here you can see a lot of uh, Song Dynasty porcelains, mm. and with a very good lighting. Yeah, you can see the lighting. The focus on the Light? decoration. On yes, on on the pot, on mm. the porcelain itself. You can I think different period of time may mm. like different colors, different patterns. Yeah, yeah. But uh, during the Song Dynasty, very elegant, very ah. simple, just a uh, monochrome, you know, yeah. one color. One color. Yeah, very one color. Simple very simple and dry, direct. But very elegant. Very elegant. You, you for, for example, this one, mm. it, the shape is very, very good. It has yeah. just two ears. Uh, the two years, Majara, that was mm. called Majara, that's Majara. from Indian ancient mass, huh. ancient mass. But it introduced to China along the Silk Road mm. and uh, followed by followed with uh, Buddhism mm. from India. But this shape is a typical Chinese. Actually, it has a very good, very wonderful celadon glaze. Not a very thin layer, a very thick layer of the glaze, shining like jade. Mm -hmm. Because this is a uh, purpose of ancient potter. Yeah. yeah. Here you can see another one. But yeah, very similar, but yes. the different ears. Yes, different shape. Different shapes. Different shape. This is a made in Longquan mm -hmm. of the Zhejiang province. Now here you can see also uh, some pieces from of, Ming Dynasty. Yes, of the imperial porcelains from the Ming Dynasty. It's, uh, it was close to the 
the last uh, gallery from, yeah. the, from the Palace Museum so collection. You can see the colors are changing. It's yes. It's more shining, uh, different colors like red. Yeah. This like is blue. a copper red, underglazed red, underglazed blue. Mm. And it uh, also has uh, three, six characters mm. of the rain mark. It was means uh, this pieces was made in the Xuander reign of the great, Qing, great Ming Dynasty. Mm. I can show you another interesting pieces, interesting piece. Uh, this is a big jar. The big jar? Yeah, it From was Qing made. Jian. Jian, Jian, Jian is very, very famous for yes. making this kind of porcelain. Yeah. Yes. The color is very shiny and with a purple, blue, purplish blue. You can see some, some things, a very strong color. Mm. And it shows the 16 boys, 16, 16 children yes. playing in the garden. Playing games, right, in the garden. Ah. And you, you can see this one. He just ride, he just ride a bamboo horse. Ah. So we can see uh, um, the pattern about this uh, uh, jar is very, it tells a story about mm -hmm. the 16 children playing games yeah. in the garden. Yes, yes. Uh, this is very typical pieces from the judging period. Uh, and uh, uh, besides this one, a very interesting uh, ewer. Mm. This ewer has a special design. You can see the fountain the, and line. Yes, uh, the design, the, the top, the main theme of this design. Uh, you can see uh, on the top, uh, top part there's a fountain, but on the lower part there's a line. So it's a the line. Fountain. The line is uh, the put here. Yes, yeah, so the line is means it's a, a meaning of the Buddhism, mm. but the fountain is from European, from Europe. Wow. So this one is a. Uh, mixture of the European design and the Chinese design. Oh, the Buddhism and also the European design. Yes, yes. The fountain, you can see a lot of things. They're very typical in, in a French garden. Mm. Yeah. So this where, one... Where did you get this price? Uh, we, the, from the auction. From the auction? Auction, yeah. Oh. Last year. Last year, I, 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 I saw it from the auction catalog. And uh, there are some other scholars uh, recommend these pieces because this one has a very special, very good story. Mm. It has a, uh, y there's a painting now kept in Spain, mm. a, a private collector. He, she, he has a oil painting. Oh. In the oil painting, there's a, this kind of uh, uh, your. Mm. So absolutely same. The same. The same one. Mm. Okay, so we go to another pieces. Ah, you can see this one, a flower pot. Mm. Flower. It's this, for is a, this is made for for the for the use of the flower. Mm. And for planting flowers. Yes, planting flowers. And there is a hole inside. Mm, for the soil and water. Yes, this beautiful flower pot was mean made in Jinken of the in the Henan province, that's in central China, during. How the, old is it? Uh, five five hundred years. Over five hundred yeah, years. Yeah, it's an early Ming Dynasty. Oh. Ming Dynasty. But you can see the very beautiful, beautiful colors of glaze inside. That's a sky blue. Okay. But outside, that's a purple. It's a purple. We, we say this is a rose purple. Rose purple. Yeah, so the rose purple and the sky blue. Okay. And for for this kind of pieces, many mm. scholars an argument make argument about its dating. Okay. Some scholars say this was made in Song Dynasty. But more and more scholars now uh, and, and think this one would mean a Ming Dynasty. Okay. Okay. So we have. I think uh, that's uh, pretty much for our live streaming. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think if, we, if you have time, you can come to uh, Quanzhou in Shishi City of Quanzhou in Southeast China's Fujian Province. This is a brand new maritime Silk Road Museum. And uh, it has over 2,000 pieces of relics featuring the Maritime Silk Road and some relics from the Palace Museum. And if you have time, and uh, you can come here to have, take a closer look. And uh, we will leave you here mm. to the last piece of these uh, very famous relics. And uh, that's all for our live streaming. Thank you very much, Mr. Li Zhongmo, the director of this uh, Maritime Silk Road Museum. And if you have time, you can come here to Shishi City of Quanzhou. And that's all of our live streaming. Thank you very much, and uh, see you next time.